Melange, Melange, Melange to link you. Welcome to another five episode of the Mobile School Podcast. Remember, do not like, do not share. Nobody really gives a damn. So today we want to talk about the summit that we attended, the AWS. If you don't know the what AWS is, it's the Amazon Web Services. They were talking about cloud computing, artificial intelligence, the, what Amazon Web Services does. So if you're asking yourself like, yo, how does Amazon make money? Amazon as the website that used to sell books doesn't make money at all. Actually it loses money, but it makes a whole lot of money. A lot of money from AWS, which is like a cloud service, uh, cloud computing service. That means where all the servers are. I'm still not happy with what they did to Parley when the January 6 things happened, but I just want to talk about, just to highlight what happened. So they had like keynote speakers, of course, they highlighted what was happening in Ukraine, which is good because if they didn't, we saw what happened with Disney. If you don't speak up, already you are labeled as a supporter of uh, Russia, if you don't speak out against uh, what's going on in Ukraine. Same way with Disney, the CEO didn't say anything about uh, the don't say gay bill and then he was already labeled like, ah, now you support it. So they touched on what you can do with their platform, the many platforms that they spoke about. They spoke about uh, how also as a small business, you can, you will be able to use their services for not paying as much money. Uh, but what I noticed about it was that uh, the attendance, the attendance was well, it was well attended, it was a very well attended uh, event. And it shows that a lot of people are starting to realize, but as many people have noticed that data is the new gold. Information is the new gold, man. Like that's the biggest asset, information. So I just wanted to talk about how now that we head into a place where there's east and west in terms of uh, the splinter net and how a lot of countries have decided to ban uh, russia there's gonna be a situation where we're gonna have to choose as south africa like which servers do we want to use honestly speaking for our project the reason i went there is because of our project my Custodes, which is a device that gives a uh, Wi-Fi, which works as a router, but also as a nanny cam and a dash cam. I would rather have Amazon having that information because should they do anything that's weird, I can always raise the issue and Europe would stand up and say, hey, what you did to that South African company is not cool. Some Americans can also say, hey, what you did to that South African com company is not cool. South America can stand up and say, yo, what you did was not cool. The problem with going east, like if I use a, com uh, a company like Huawei for their servers, if they decide to use that data for their own purposes to uh, on the request of the government, I cannot do anything. People will be like, huh, what the hell did you expect? Which would be a fair question. So in terms of servers, we need to understand that oh, that's where the information lies, guys. That's the bedrock. And you might be like, ah, no, I don't care about these things, but you really need to care about who, who's holding the information. And they can say, no, it's encrypted. Nobody can access it. But when push comes to shove, somebody will access it. Somebody will access it and somebody will destroy it, which is something that's not destroy it, but use it against you. So it's very important that as a country, we need to start looking at uh servers so they use like words like cloud computing but it's just servers just servers and in south africa we can easily build servers we can easily make sure that we we do not destroy the planet while doing it but yeah like that's just the highlight of what happened uh the food was not great but i didn't go there for food so in closing, I just want to say 
there's a war information war that's happening and the one that's that's going to have the most information is going to win this war and the fact that there's not even one single country out of the 54 we have on the continent there's no one single country that has its own servers and we saw how our president were hacked that already tells us like even our security is weak so we need to protect our information we need to have our information in our hands we need to have our information on our land we need to have our information on our servers with that said this is not a podcast it's not a lecture i'm not a podcaster i'm an independent ted talk how about you